Hello everyone and welcome back to that Catholic Gamer Dude Plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I apologize for my departure uh, immediately after the uh, mission last time because I was running up against the time wall. But as always happens with when the Chosen show up, a mission that should have been a milk run turns into an hour, at least an hour mission. So but we're back now and... So we're just going to go ahead and move along in the strategic layer. First things first, I do not have enough cash for any of the projects, so we're going to pull our engineer that we have on there. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and continue shielding this power coil. It should take some time, but that will be beneficial. The next... She was the sun here. Increases resistance contacts. Still have one more resistance contact left. We have a supply run being done in three turns. I'm looking at the... Supply drop is in 10 days. Speaking of the Chosen, I'm getting tired of their stuff. I don't know about you. Let's go to the armory real quick and view our soldiers. Do we have any rookies on Most deck in the- new recruits have Oop. never worked in close quarters like the Avenger. Before the war, we might have had time for training, but now they're going to have to pick things up on the fly. Yep. Well, the nice thing is that in one day, in two days, we'll get a good number of our crew back. So, that'll be good. But I am very tired of the Chosen, so I think on the next, after the next covert action, what we are going to do is do one of the missions to actually, bring, to actually find the Chosen. I've got a facility. Do we have any facility leads on here? I thought we had a facility lead. Today will mean little in the vast war that lies ahead. Do not dwell on it. We do have to make contact. It'll take about 80 intel. How much intel do we have? 85. The... Our supply drop is in 10 days. I think that's the best use of our time. So let's go ahead and make a contact in an instant. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our system. The effects of all weapon... The, chosen hunter to this region. the effect of all weapons modifications is increased. We are now at maximum capacity of our contacts, but that's okay, because we also have a lead on an alien facility. We are going to... <clears throat> Interesting, I wonder why that black market is highlighted. We're going to go get ourselves our last sol our soldier here that we've been scanning for the past three days. Let's just go ahead and get that done real quick. Most of our people are coming back from their wounds. Some of our people are a little worse for wear after that last covert action, but if we give them time to rest, they'll be fine. All right, and then we've gotten 101 supplies, which is great. We've got a sol squaddy, uh, one of our specialists has been promoted, so we're gonna go back. Commander, the factions have readied proposals for various covert missions. We should head to the ring to plan our next stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. First off, we gotta go do a promotion. Oh, we got a personal combat stim? Okay. Will eight. And then, oh, okay, we got some modifications. That must have been from a loot that we picked up. I think most of our specialists are combat protocol. So, oh, well, but let me check that real quick before we do that. Go back to our roster here. And let's see. Specialist 1. Uh, Elizabeth. She is a... Combat hacker. And number 2 is... Also a combat hacker. So yes, yeah, so we will have a medical specialist. We only have... 3... I'm tempted to actually recruit one more. We'll go to engineering first and see if there's something more pressing that we need to grab. Sustaining sphere, smoke grenade, weapons, plasma bolt caster, magnetic bolt caster. Could get the magnetic bolt caster, the ion ripjack, the beam pistol, the beam auto pistol. Ooh, okay. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like we can recruit. Dad sacrificed the only thing he had left to get this ship off the ground, and I won't let it be for nothing. Right. Okay. She might be a little worse for wear right now, but with some new schematics and a little elbow grease, 
she'll be the toughest thing in the sky. All right, so we need to send three soldiers out to... We only have two majors. Um, however, Semi Boroto is, in fact, uh, available. We're going to send Marie Peters back out because no appropriate... Ah. Really? I have to send two of my faction soldiers? I guess that's what's just going to happen. All right. So that's two majors. The only thing that we risk is being wounded. We're going to go ahead and do that. We got to... I am very tired of the Warlock's nonsense. Going to infiltrate the stronghold. It's going to take about eight days. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, we got that going on. Resistance comes at capacity and a low intel. Uh, we're going to get beam cannons in three days. That's what I'm waiting for. We're going to clear alien debris as well. And then we're going to see if we can actually afford those beam cannons. Get our soldier. Get our soul shooter. Captain Malcolm Reynolds. Oh, yeah. It's a little worse for wear. Investigate. Not now. Hold on a second. Which one do we want to do? Alien alloys or engineer? Um. Hmm. I think we'll go do the engineer real quick. I am expecting a retaliation mission at some point. Possibly very soon in the future. But we shall see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. Yep. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. Okay. Oh, we can do a defense matrix. We'll have to think about that one. Um, but mostly it was just to open up this room. Uh, promotion. For Captain Malcolm Reynolds, let's see what we can turn him into. Um, What's our promotion path for our sharpshooters? We have Lieutenant Matt Shaw, who is a long-range shooter. We have Irina Pavlova, who is our lightning hand specialist. The kid, soldier ability, is also a lightning hand specialist, so we'll make Mal a long-range shooter. Got that. And then Deadeye, Death from Above, and then Kill Zone. Dude is awesome. So we'll take out that, and then we'll take that. And then we got six days to wait. I think we're pretty much good for any of the, oops, unstaffed engineer. Oh, right, because we just did that. Okay, so we'll shield the power coil. And then we're probably going to have Engineers just kind of sitting there, not in days. We're going to <clears throat> got two empty rooms, which is crazy. Problem is, I don't have enough supplies to actually do them and sufficient power to actually build half this stuff. So, defense matrix resistance comms. Don't think we can upgrade our existing resistance comm. We could even just put an engineer in our existing resistance comm to get more contacts. Uh, no, that's taken care of. Okay. So, and then with the power relay, we can even increase the Avengers' power rather than having to build another relay. So, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. Time, the beam cannon. Digital network construction. What is that? Breakthrough. Resistance. Allows us to build the digital network upgrade and a resistance ring. At a, uh, nah. Basically, what they're saying is that uh, we can build the digital network upgrade, which allows us to use another resistance order in five days. But the reality of it is, is that we need this power armor 15 days. Wow. And then plasma lens. We need an archon autopsy. Lots of stuff. Facility lead takes 50 intel. Interesting. I did not know that. We'd actually have to do some research on that. Uh, inspired. One advent pad, two days. How much intel do we have? We have five. I don't think that's going to be enough. Mm. 
We can take two days. Okay. Engineering. Build items. Weapons. Beam cannon. Yes, sir. Do we want the magnetic bolt caster? I don't think we do. Um, we have to get basically 175 for supplies for that weapon to make sense. Ionic ripjack. Arc blade. 60 supplies. It would be nice if our slashing would actually be beneficial, but I don't think either of these are necessary at the moment. We will hold off on those until we get another mission. And then we'll decide then, because it, actually, it really depends upon who's available. Four, Our three. Did prove beneficial. Okay. Greetings, Commander. New research. Let's go with the powered armor. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Okay. The other thing too is, is that it really is time to start removing some of our negative traits. So we're going to go ahead. I really should have done that before, but we'll go ahead and do that now. Three, two, one. Incoming message for you, Commander. Okay. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership. Ah. And you have outdone yourself. All right, come on. Alright, so the Warlock can now summon Advent Priests. Alright, so we're going to get some brutal crackdowns. Intel is a 66. Um, Evans have a chance to reveal Overwatch at 25. That takes us just under what we needed. <laughs> Next retaliation strike is imminent. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold off on... You know what? Now, nah, actually, I'm going to reveal that. When XCOM chosen gaze information, a portion is passed along to the hunter as well. Uh, oh, whatever. That's unfortunate. One resistance contact. Gain new regions made instantly. We're out of... Um... We really have to raise our influence with the skirmishers, but... Speed of all weapons research is increased by 15%. We will probably end up researching stuff real soon. Bonds go 25. Gain additional 2 power on the Avenger. And when a squad mate... Blah, 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 blah. Still like the shredding. Let's go ahead and do that. Good as done. We're going to go investigate. And get those supplies. New course. The retaliation strike is imminent, so I assume... It's gonna come up soon. Together, yeah. In our task. All right. We just got some new intel on the chosen. It should be easier to hunt them down now. All right. Commander, we just heard from the resistance. They found a way into the chosen stronghold. We shouldn't pass up this opportunity to take the fight directly to the elders. Okay, so only 14 enemies, but obviously we have the chosen on the ground and an enemy unknown. So we're going to wait on that. Now we must strike in new ways to crush their efforts. Okay, so we're going to see fabricate VPS, SPCS, resistance order. On every mission, there's a chance that a resistance soldier will join the XCOM squad. Facility lead. Um, hunt the chosen. Recover loot. Reduce avatar projects. We can also gain ability points or improve combat intelligence. We're going to go hunt the chosen assassin. Because we need to start um, getting our people up in terms of, uh, or the, the, we need to raise our influence level with them because it's taking forever. Is that a solid squad? We got a specialist, a grenadier, and another grenadier? Not really. <clears throat> Who do I want going along? Sergeant Lee Turner. Let's see here. Who's a sergeant rank? And two of the two of the sergeants are already on covert actions. I'll bring along another one. Uh, no ambush risk because of him. So we just have a wounded. So let's go ahead. Our order is clear, and we will obey it. 
And once we get that, so now we'll go back. We're expecting a retaliation strike any minute now. All right. One of our soldiers had their negative traits removed, so we're going to go back the in. Chosen have already learned too much about our operations, Commander. If we don't work with the resistance on a covert action to hunt them down, we're going to end up on the defensive. That's right. So, but we're good. Don't worry about it. Let's see here. Go back. Get that other engineer. And there's our retaliation strike. All right. Okay, so we've got an enemy unknown with a berserker, muton, and specter. I have no idea what that could entail. But it is time to get down there and get to work. All right. First things first, we're going to remove everything. Oops. We're going to move everybody, and then I will come back when it's time. All right. So it's going to be a very difficult assault. So I will come back when I'm done loading out the squad. All right. All right. See you in a bit. All right. So here we go. We got ourselves uh, Major Baroto. We're bringing him back. He's got the blue screen rounds just in case we encounter an enemies. We do have an enemy unknown on the field. We're not entirely sure who that is. The uh, the coolest XCOM operative ever, Saman Chatterjee, is bringing himself a plasma grenade. I want to be sure that's actually correct. Do we want to have anything else in terms of like acid or something like that? Actually, yes, we do. That is possible, but we may want the acid grenade. Um, his partner in crime, Lieutenant Shmirnov, Victor Shmirnov, is bringing the plasma grenades. <clears throat> we're bringing a battle scanner along and we're bringing frost, frost grenades just in case we need to distract people from shooting civilians. Lieutenant Shaw, a buddy and friend of Major Boroto, is bringing the dragon rounds because we're going to face a lot of organics, uh, including berserkers who have melee abilities. And if we can force them to... Uh, slow their roll by setting them on fire, then their melee abilities don't work. And then a mimic beacon, because we will most likely be charging into positions that are less than optimal, and so at some point we will need a distraction. Captain Dunn is bringing along plasma grenade. I think that's correct. Is there anything else that could be more useful? Uh, hold on one second. Let me see here. Soldier abilities. She does have medical protocol. If a med kit is okay, you know what? Actually, we're gonna load out. We're gonna give herself, give her the med kit, because you never know when we might need to stabilize or revive somebody. <clears throat> and so, but she's gonna be our primary hacker slash. Um, basically, she's coming in there as a hacker specialist uh, for combat protocol, but also for her scanning abilities, because we're definitely gonna need them for the possibility of faceless. And Captain Alonzo, who is our other ranger, he's bringing along our very own brand spanking new Plasma Bolt Caster. This thing is awesome, mostly because it has a plus 15% aim. But the idea behind it is, is that you basically aim this at the thing you want to die, and it will die, or at least stun it. I am expecting one of two things. Either this is just a straight up Haven Assault, or with uh, just your standard 14 enemies or so that we have to kill as quickly as possible. Or it could be that uh, the Berserker Queen has shown up on this mission. Either way, we're pretty decked out. And I think that's about all that we're going to be able to do here. So let's get down there. Five. 
Then so-called peacekeepers are hitting one of the resistance camps in this area. They're taking out civilians and fighters alike. We're deploying to protect as many people as we can. Secure the site and take out any hostile forces still threatening the area. All right, so this is a standard uh, resistance mission. We got to save resistance for Oh, no, it's save resistance forces. Okay. So we're going to get down there, Operation Moon Mother. Let's get to it. on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. All right, so we've got ourselves two concealed rangers. The reason, and the reason why is because I didn't show that in the screen. Screen, but we went back to uh, give them uh, concealment so that we can move up without any uh, impediments or possi possibly revealing things. So we're just going to go ahead and move up as quickly as possible Getting it done. while still maintaining something resembling cover. That was one, two, three, four, five. Okay, six. Good to go. Yeah. And our first encounter with the assassin this campaign. A new world awaits me. That is quite a bit of stuff here. She takes increased damage from skirmishers. It's a good thing we don't have any, right? Right. Okay. Can summon advent troopers. Miss shots against this chosen will generate shielding. Defense increased after the first attack every turn. What? Of every t after the first attack of every turn. Does that mean that if she attacks, or you know whatever? But you will never All right. Heads up out there! It's the Elder's assassin, and she's moving into the AO. Wow, six damage? <laughs> okay. With each breath, I draw closer. All right, so we're going to move up here. Moving out. And see if we can see anybody, and the answer is no. So we got to increase our pace here. At this point, there we go. Oh, that's bad. All right. Well, chrysalids. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's move forward. Do we take, do we just immediately blow concealment? I actually think we do because we need to get moving. <clears throat> so it does not matter that, um, I, I don't think at this point it matters if we break concealment or if we stop here and just fire at them. <clears throat> We need to take these guys out now. Can you hit both of them? You sure can. Uh, 69. Let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So we may have no choice but to uh, just go ahead and see that's a berserker right there so I guess the question is if we fire off Confirmed. I think we're just going to have to oh nuts you can't see the other one all right well we could move up here 
and run and gun. We're basically throwing away all of our uh, concealment at the moment. Actually, it doesn't matter, I think, at this point. Let's just go ahead and get up there. We've spotted the enemy. 100%, 86%. We've got to take this guy down. That was not what I was hoping for. We got one more waiting in the wings. Can you see the other one? From your position. Which one is that? The one that's... Uh, no, you're injured. Okay. Let's see here. Why can't anyone see this other one? Okay, you can see him from here. Good. Perhaps you should take further time to reflect, Templar, before you find your sixty-nine. Let's go ahead. How many times are we gonna miss a sixty-nine? Huh? Refocusing. Okay, that's our ranger. Just go ahead and fire at you. Good. Oh, there's a... Okay. So, we're going to immediately give the teamwork to Viktor Shmirnov. Because... As awful as it is, I need to take this chrysalid out. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. What a waste of a grenade, but still. Ouch. Oh. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our to... just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bad And the chosen. I take no pleasure in the slaughter of these innocents. One. Two. Now he's upset. Ah, that's unfortunate. Would have been nice if they could have wiped out that specter. Still, we did reveal the Chosen along the way. Let's see. Kasimi Boroto can move up. He's probably going to reveal that Berserker. Yes, he is. That's okay, though. We'll see where they go. Are you going to come forward? Berserker probably will. And so does the Muton. Excellent. This actually works out pretty well. Wow. Rend 6 to 7. Let's go ahead and do it. There we go. Oh, phenomenal cosmic power. And then we will reload with Vicente Alonso. I think he'll be able to... We could try to dust him outright. But we may also want to wait on that. He's still concealed. You can't see him. Our muton. You cannot see our muton friend. Do we have hail of bullets? That can cause guaranteed damage. Uses a lot of ammo. On Elizabeth Dunn. Very dead. Just the way I like it. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. Yep. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. Okay. So, we move forward. I guess that'll be okay. Heading out. And then we just gotta go, go, go. Those resistance members are packing heat, though, so I'm not too worried. And then we just gotta move up. Okay. Okay. If 
Vanishing Wind. Okay. Resistance activity. They're gonna straight up murder some of these pods, hopefully. The invisible dude is enraged. Yeah. Oh, uh, that loot is out there, but that's okay. All right, so we got a turn to close in. Oh, there's our uh, chosen assassin. Let us see. Can we move up? I'm going to conceal him. Vicente Alonso. And we are going to move up. Because she is right there. There we go. Does she trigger? The elders propose an exchange. Your lives, your resistance must end. And in return, this world is mine. I will require your return to captivity, Commander. Consider yourself lucky. You won't suffer long by my hand. We've got the chosen in our sights. That's right. It's time to take them out. Let's do it. Um. Uh. I will not be deterred. Unfortunately, I don't have much to follow that up with. <laughs> but that's okay. Because I have every faith that the resistance movement is fully capable of defending itself. Mm. I'm just going to move up here with Kamishi Baroto. And we are going to hunker down. And with Saman Chatterjee, we're just going to move up. Next turn, we're going to wreck face. We get a decent position up here. And we will see what the Chosen does. That is two Advent Troopers. Ouch. He is dazed. Oh dear. Having said that, the resistance movement should be able to just be wrecking these guys. Oh, no. You're not supposed to miss. That's bad form. We'll see here. Nice. You got one more shot on that berserker. I heard something like glass breaking. Murdered. That was another focus. Man. These guys are just wrecking the place. Oh, so close. We still also have a faceless to contend with. Alright, so. Who's going to revive... Our bud here. I think it's Kamisi Baroto. Mostly because I don't think we have anything else. The question is who... And I keep saying the question is. But... You have 70%. 58%. Defense, high cover. Defense, high cover. But we have good range, good angle. Alright. Let's see here. Where did that Chosen go? She's like right somewhere around here, I believe. Oh, she's right there. Okay. We could just rupture her. You. Actually, what we could do 
is use a Mimic Beacon and then try to take her out this turn. I like the idea. The only problem is, is that we don't have really anything to blow up this truck with. And the person that I would use the acid grenade is the one who needs to cause the largest amount of damage. Okay, you could, if you move, reveal her. So, let's see. Do need a scanning protocol. Yeah. Alright, that's what we need. So, let's go ahead. Move up. All right, I'll go. And just do a scan protocol of this area. So, we can reveal her. That didn't work. That's most unfortunate. Okay. Oh, there she is. Yeah. And so we'd run up here. And X. She's very upset. And the rupture? Got her. Wow. He just wrecked her. Right. Saman Chatterjee. Coolest XCOM operative alive. <laughs> he just walked right up to the assassin and is like, I'm going to show you how to assassinate. I probably said something a lot cooler than that. Alright, so, what do we do now? Uh, let's see here. We do toss the Mimic Beacon. That much is a given. And then do we just... Well, before we do that, do we just then put everybody in Overwatch? Or do we rend? For fun and... Um, profit. Um, I think just because we're kind of in a slightly delicate position, I think we'll just use the Mimic Beacon, force them to kind of move into, uh, out into cover, my out of cover, I should say. I'm just trying to think of where the best spot is. There we go. And then... Use Volt on these guys. This is a 3 to 6. Not very impressive. Whoop. No, 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 no. We only have one parry. So, let's go ahead and just fire away here. Yeah, I kind of expected that. And then with Victor here, we're just going to move up. He did take a bit of a lick. And then we will just move up here. And Overwatch, just in case they do something stupid and work around me. Okay, well, there's another pod. Yes. Hopefully, Victor, uh, Matt Shaw can get a shot on him. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Yep, eh. Five damage on the Mimic Beacon. Mimic Beacon is, he's just like, wait, oh no wait, I just totally did something stupid. 
Can you help us out here? Nice. That yeah, gotta reload. There's another berserker there. Okay. Gotta reload and then fire again. Okay. Now he's upset and invisible. Nice. Wow. I'm not really sure we actually needed to come. You know, I really feel like that these guys have everything under control. It's unfortunate, but that is loot. Loot is loot. Okay. So, who have we got? Who can we actually see? And the answer is not a lot. That berserker is still very far away. Uh, so, Mount Chatterjee is kind of flapping in the wind here. Um, but, we could rend. Actually, with the guys on the field, I think rending is actually the best option. And then we could move up and shoot this advent trooper in the face. There's nobody else is really in range. As long as we get Saman Chatterjee out of the way. Um, who are you being flanked by? You're going over here. Are you... Oh, it's that other advent trooper. Yeah, he should be dead. So let's take care of that first because you never know how stuff goes down until you actually try. Can we get... Nah. Most unfortunate. Phenomenal cosmic power. So we'll wait right there. We're going to move with Vicente Alonso. Advent Trooper gets really terrified. Nope. 100% chance to basically wreck this guy's face. There's some loot. And then... If we move up, we can see both of them. But that... Okay, so this guy, the Spectre, really has to move in order to get... Can we freeze both of them? I think we can. We brought the frost bomb just in case we encountered something horrifically nasty. And we did. It was called the assassin. But now, we can just kind of freeze them both, I think, hopefully. Alright, I think that's there. I'm going to hit the enter button instead of click the mouse so it doesn't move off. We'll see how that works out. We got both of them. No, we didn't. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, good. Now, I think we just wrecked shop. Come over here. Moving. And we fire. Is he not going anywhere? I'm out. And uh, Matt Shaw has really hasn't accomplished all that much this mission, unfortunately. Location confirmed. Um, but he's gonna go grab some loot, superior stock, Got your stuff here. and then we just kind of move up, Is it clear? fire away at this Muton Berserker, there we go, and then we will just move in. Frozen aliens, my favorite kind. The berserker comes in, whacks a civilian, unfortunately, but... Okay. So he's alive. Now we have another specter on the field as well. Hopefully you just fire at that specter, because you guys have just been taking them to the woodshed.
just, it's an indiscriminate slaughter of the aliens. It's great. That pod had no chance. <laughs> is there something else out there? Oh, yes. That muton. I think this muton has just been sitting there this whole time. And he's just been like, when do I get to shoot? Oh, I'm dead. That 33% chance for the focus is actually a lot. So here comes our faceless. Not sure where he is. The resistance members should be able to smack him around. Um, having said that, we do need to take care of these frozen uh, alien sickles before uh, they actually are in a position to do some damage. So we have a flank on the specter. 100% chance on the berserker, 100% chance on the specter. I'm not sure who put, uh, Mutam poses a greater threat. He's still alive, though. And if we only had eyes on... We reload. Ready to go. If only we had eyes on the... Um, what am I trying to say? If only we had eyes on that faceless. I'm slightly concerned about what it's going to do. Might want to see if we can move Matt Shaw up. Just so that we can get eyes on him, because I think we might want to use Kasimi Boroto to slash. But we can't see anything. Most unfortunate. Can we run and gun? No. What's over there? We can, however, go into Overwatch, which is a lot less exciting than I was hoping for. You need to reload. Can you slashy him? You can. I think we're going to just slashy you. Okay, now we move back. And then, we're going to move up here. So we can see that. It, oh, we can fire the pistol. Or vault. Three to six damage. We're just going to overwatch. And then we will just overwatch and see where this guy goes. <clears throat> That's going to be a problem. Somebody might eat some fire on this one. Lightning reflexes. Okay. Not even close. Yeah, I didn't think that one through. Although that seemed like a dash. Oh no. I forgot that Kamishi Baroto was there. Still, this specter does not bother me. He's pretty much dead. Is that faceless that I'm more concerned about? That should be two moves, I think. Especially the way he went. Yes. That was a miss. Resistance members come out, start shooting at things. Faceless down. Six damage. 
Resistance Mesmer will probably finish off the Spectre. Or very come very close to it. Oh, Matt Shaw is able to participate finally. Can he take him down with just a... I forgot to equip uh, the wep the good weapon on him. Let us... Pretty sure everybody's gotten a kill up until this point. So let's just go ahead and fire a frag grenade so that Matt Shaw can get some of this action. Because he's feeling kind of lonely. Nope, not you, not you. You. Die. There you go. We did. Shadowbound is gone. Kishimi, Kamishi Baroto is up. Assassin defeated. There you go. 16 out of 19 civilians saved. 8 turns taken. 17 enemies killed. At least half of that by resistance forces. Still. That was pretty a badass. Go back to the strategic layer. Most under fire mimic beacon decoy. United in the elders' love for us, we shall prevail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was a straight up fantastic mission. No. Temporarily. No uh promotions, unfortunately. We've rescued civilians. Illyrium Core, Advanced Scope, Laser Sight Superior, Stock Crystal Corpse, Berserker Corpse, Mutant Corpse, Spectre Corpse, Troop, Advent Trooper Corpse, and Faceless Corpse. We have a Crystalids now on the you battlefield. And crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. I'm a little concerned about that. Unused Illyrium Cores. We're going to remove Tisha Diaz from that. We'll put her in the. Proving ground. Do we want advanced explosives? 40 supplies. Four alien alloys. Four alien. Yeah, I want advanced explosives. Hopefully, we have enough. The behind enemy lines. We want powered armor. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go back. Oops. Resistance contacts. Not now. That is awesome. Heat signatures. Engineer. We'll go back. Understand the elders' ways shows the depth of your inexperience. Okay. Shield of power coil, remove traits. Your name is there anything else that we should be doing on here. The infirmary is going. We will have you know uh, covert actions, negative traits. Alive today if it weren't for your father. He was uh, something of a miracle worker. Getting the we'll have to sell some stuff. Was a miracle. And then with the behind enemy lines, we we'll want power armor and then we will want mind shields for everybody. In the sand if he hadn't. Thought we have seen this one already. Everything he had to get the ship running. So we're almost he done. Long enough to see her fly. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. You can honor his memory by using this ship to destroy the aliens wherever we find them. You'll get no argument here. All right, so we're going to move forward. Fly up to the region up here get that last get that engineer good stuff okay increase region income not now we're gonna go and get the resistance contacts the alien alloys Avenger plotting new course and basically, we're just waiting out until we get uh, the chosen stronghold mission. Good stuff. Delirium recovered. View room. We could build just about anything we want on here. I'm not going to build anything that though because what we have, what we're missing now, is we have three, four rooms available for building out. 
I don't know what to put in them yet because for the supplies, we actually want uh, a supply drop in 16 days. What we really want is the powered armor. So we're just trying to get our weapons in, gear, in place. The there we go. We find nothing but success. Oh, uh, we got, that's right. Crucial piece of information about the chosen. Under the table, okay. Children of Vengeance, the black market pays a 30% supply premium. 30% supply premium for goods. Interesting. Sign new covert action. Influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the chosen. Soldier wounded, soldier captured, ambush. Mm, 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 mm. Gain ability points, improve combat intelligence, assassin part two. Uh, I'm not too worried about the assassin because as we've proven, we're pretty solid on that. Resistance order. On every mission, there's a chance of resistance order to get to bump to your army. Improve. What is the best thing that we could do for right now? Requires a reaper. Soldier with a major to get to 100 chosen. We're not that interested in that just yet. Facility lead. Let's go ahead and put some Sergeant Kate O'Reilly. Sergeant Aaron. Uh, Sergeant Catherine. And I don't want to spend the supplies to negate the capture risk. So we're just going to have to hope. Soldier wounded, soldier captured, ambush. Um, let's clear those for now. Breakthrough research. Heavy armor without increasing weight, providing an increase of plus one HP. Let's do that. Uh, no, that requires a scientist. Ah! I don't want to slow things down. Recover loot. Alien loot. Reduce avatar progress. Foreign soldier bond. Manufacture upgrade. Superior weapon upgrade. Counter chosen ability. Honestly, I feel like that this is the best option. Uh, let's go ahead and send Sergeant Delegato, and then we can send um, a specialist. We don't have enough intel to prevent a capture, but the capture is low. Wounded is the more likely outcome. All right, so we've got power armor coming in eight days. Three, two, one. Uh, Ergonim has overcome his negative trait. So we're going to stop here for a minute. Captain Aaron Hayes, get rid of her negative trait. There's an un idle staff at the infir infirmary. Hmm. Do we increase our resistance contacts with another engineer? It's a good question. That is a very good question, he asked himself. I think at this point the answer is yes, because we are going to... Wait. Oh, it's the idle staff at the infirmary, right. Okay. So we're going to empty that out for the moment. Gonna increase our resistance contacts here. Number of contacts to 10, which means we got two more. Idle staff, uh, i taking care of that, go away. Yes, there's no staff at the infirmary. Get lost, okay. We got another resistance contact coming up. All right, so we may find ourselves on the wrong end of a mission. Uh oh. To the elders, Avatar the project comes up. Constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, and are spreading terror throughout the resistance as they go. We'll need to pay close attention to each one as they gain more information. About New targets. Plans. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Interesting. Okay. Sit reps, the horde, have retreated from this area, leaving only large amounts of the lost. Destroy the alien relay. When, X when any chosen gains information about Exxon, a portion is passed along to the hunter. 32 lost. 
Major Jane Cobb, <laughs> another one of the, uh, um, oh, my brain refuses to work. The, uh, Firefly show. Uh, very difficult. 179 supplies. Enemy tech and Cyanide defense are doubled. 94 intel. Any chosen case information about XCOM, a portion is passed along to the hunter as well. We'll need the supplies first because... We are moving forward with that. Recover item from Resistance Haven. Neutralize enemy field commander. Very difficult location scout. We can see everybody though. I mean, that is in and of itself ridiculous. I did want to bring the Reaper along for this next mission just because she has not seen a lot of action. Funnily enough though, we're not gonna use her all that much. Well, I guess that's not true because she can still, eh, well, scouting doesn't matter. We'll have to see. In any event, for the Western European Ward. we're moving forward. We want the supplies more than anything else. We're a location scout. Very difficult mission. Why is it very difficult again? It's very difficult because we have Spectre Codex, Adramadon, Elite Trooper, Muton, Advent General, Heavy Mech. Okay. Ergonim is back. All right, we're gonna do another. Um, we're gonna do another uh, squad loadout. So when I come back, uh, we'll talk about what the loadout is and why it's important. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. We've got ourselves. Ah, I forgot to let's see if there, could we actually load out. No, we cannot. Okay. So what I'm looking at, I thought I was done. I think I pretty much am at this point. The specialist. I'm kind of iffy about Corporal Peters, mostly because she is a Corporal specialist that we haven't been able to upgrade all that much. Um, she's on the low end of the bell curve. I'm not too worried about that because we have four guys who are capable of dishing out large amounts of pain, uh, especially Saman Chatterjee. Corporal Peters. The reason why I'm kind of iffy about her, actually, I think we could probably give her the, what is the deal with these? Uh, you click these make armor available stuff and it just doesn't happen. So let's go ahead and take a look. Load out, Predator armor exosuit. There we go. She is a uh, medical specialist. So we don't really have a combat hacker. Having said that, I did go back to the training room and give her combat protocol. So she'll be able to do at least a little bit of damage with that. The, I'm torn. I think I'm just gonna take the plasma grenade. Because the thing is, is that we have two charges of the frost bomb, just in case we need to stop people in their tracks. Saman Chatterjee is our primary damage dealer with Pavlona, Lieutenant Pavlona backing him up. Um. And uh, Ergonim, probably just give him those. And then, really trying to think, part of the problem is is that I do need something to kind of, blue screen rounds, uh, bonus robotic damage five. Okay, we'll go with that. And so he's just gonna be on mech cleanup duty. The, ideally we can use our pistol rounds with Pavlona here. I totally forgot to give her... Where is my spider suit? I say make armor available and eventually armor should be available. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. Was it on Matt Shaw? Maybe? That's weird. Hold on one second. I will come back to that as soon as I figure out what the heck is going on. Where is my spider suit? Armory. You soldiers. I only put it on my snipers. Is it on? Oops. Ah. Wish it would cycle through based upon your last search loadout. I'm taking her. We're making progress against the aliens, and it sounds like we're starting to get the loadout. Predator armor. I must be out on covert action or something. Yeah. All right. Fine. Whatever. They have to know there's a okay. Reason to endure all this. Coming back to that covert action. Confirm. 
Let's get her done. All right, so this is our squad. Finally, after all that negotiation. Got enough on here to make life miserable for the aliens and a uh, med kit just in case we take some boo-boos. But the idea is that we got a pretty decent spread. We are going to encounter codexes, therefore we want the flesh banks. So I think that's about all that there is to it. We're also bringing uh, Turner Nightwalker because she definitely needs the experience. Our Reapers have really suffered in this campaign. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let's get down there. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. given a prime opportunity to disrupt Advent's operations and delay their current plans. One of their field commanders has decided to tour the actual field, and we're going to make sure he never leaves there alive. Once you hit the ground, find our target and eliminate him as quickly as possible. All right, so next time on XCOM 2 War of the Chosen Operation Knife Valley in the, uh, in the Shadow LA District in Birmingham. We're going to take that an Advent Field Commander. Thank you very much for joining me. It's been that Catholic Game of Duty playing XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. If you like what you saw, please click the like button. If you like to see more, please click the subscribe button. If you like to see everything posted to this channel, please click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you next time.